Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing Pokemon X again. Um, we just got done with the last city, and now we need to go to Anastar to meet up with Sycamore. Okay, I grabbed my little flying Pokemon. Let's go ahead and go to Anastar. Anastar. Where is that city? Lavar, Dendamil, Anastar. That's the one we're looking for. The one with the big old sundial thing a thing. Do, 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 do. No, oh, I can't hit back. This is not where I wanted to go. Okay, so if we go over to the sundial, he should be waiting for us. Oh, there you are, Sycamore. Hello, David. Running around all over Kalos is actually rather tiring, is it not? Well, yeah, I'm the one making you do that, aren't I? Terribly sorry about that. Well, Serena may have already told you, but I found a way to power up the Mega Ring. Before we get to that, however, let's talk about Mega Stones briefly. My theory is that their special stones irradiate, irradiate by the light, the energy of the legendary Pokemon Xerneas, fired from the ultimate weapon 3,000 years ago, and that's what I think they are. It's even possible that stones like Fire Stones were what turned into these Mega Stones. So what's the Mega Ring that you are holding? That mysterious stone transforms feelings felt toward Pokemon into some kind of wavelength. The Mega Ring works in a similar way to how this object over here works. It's an object that changes sunlight into a mysterious light. For one hour, starting at 8 p.m., the sundial starts emitting light. This mysterious object has been towering over the city here for over 3,000 years. Its relationship to the Mega Ring isn't understood at all yet. Now, let's get down to the heart of the matter. David, try touching the sundial. You were exposed to the legendary Pokemon's energy in Team Flare's Secret HQ, and the Mega Ring has absorbed the power of the Sundial. These two powers have combined to upgrade your Mega Ring. Now it will react to underground Mega Stones, but only when the Sundial is emitting light. I'm sure these stones hide in every corner of Kalos. Use this power to find them. Lit. So now, we can find that. The, the secret... What time is it now? Oh, it's five. Okay, never mind. I'm like, shoot. I can't go and find them right now. Well, that is the last thing we need to do here. We got to go back to the limoways. Okay, so now we need to... This, I think it's what we're looking for here. Uh -huh. David, please excuse me. I only need a moment or perhaps three. There's something I really need to talk to you about. Please come to the Looker Bureau. The building is close to Rouge Plaza. I can't say any more right now. We'll expect you soon. Okay. Chapter 1. That man's a real looker. Okay. Can you take me to wherever that is? Here? Looker Bureau. Okay, that's on our look so far. Alright. Alright. 1500. Disgusting. Let's go ahead and head inside the Looker Bureau. It was good of you to come. <clears throat> Yes, I need 30 seconds of your time, or 3 minutes only, 30 minutes maybe. First, you must know that I have taken the liberty of, of investigating you, David. For example, I can say that you're the newest champion of the Kalos region. Also, I can say that you were the one to save our world from the group known as Team Flare. Good, very good. I've delayed in giving my introduction. My name is... Oh, ah, I mean to say my name is Looker. I'm no more than a grim middle-aged man who works in this town as a detective. Now, let's approach the final subject, David, my friend. I investigated you, yes. I called you here today, yes. The reason for these actions? Listen well. Limoe City is a tourist destination whose name is known all over the world. Many kinds of people live here, and even more come to visit and enjoy the atmosphere. The fact is, wherever there are many people in one place, trouble is never far behind. Trouble beckons me, yes. Trouble, trouble troubles me. And so I arrive, and so I open this agency. Being a detective and doing doing such work requires a person with a hard-boiled heart, but even a heart that embraces the loneliness can sometimes stumble, falter, and doubt. That's where you come in, kid. I want you to be my assistant. No, more than that. I want you to be my partner. If a champion like you and an iron jaw detective like me join forces, I promise we can bring peace to the city. And what does your heart say, David? Will, your par will you partner with me to fight crime? For your brave answer, I thank you. The city will regain its tranquility. Well, I wish it could be that easy. Because even though you are champion, you're still a rookie when it comes to detective work. And that's why I would ask you to enroll in my class in detective and esp espionage skills. The looker method. Yes, even you can become a detective in five easy steps. And when you're ready to learn the meaning of hard-boiled, just come and talk to me again. 
Are you ready for an adventure now? Allow me to do something you'll be doing. You need to find five looker tickets that are sprinkled about the city. Then bring them back to me. There's nothing more to it. Simple as can be. The looker tickets will be sure to catch your eye with their glitter and sparkle. I want you to succeed, so I've left some hints in my notebook about where to find the tickets. And so then, it is time. Away with you. Begin your training. I trust you'll live up to my hopes. Okay. So we gotta find some tickets. So now that you're heading off into the city, David, I just thought I would go over the locations of the hidden tickets once again. Oh. Okay, well, let me write these down. So it's in the Poke Center next to Magenta... Magenta Plaza. Okay. Centrico Plaza in the... Power illuminating the city. Vernal Avenue at the shop selling medicines. North Boulevard, 1F in a place where people rest. And... North Boulevard, 1F, in a place filled with art. Okay. That's it. If you're having trouble, return to the loco. Alrighty. Okay, let's go ahead and find the tickets then. Okay, so one should be right in here. It should be, yep, the sparkles right here. Okay, so there is the one in the magenta plaza okay you found a ticket your brilliant deduction has brought you to one step closer to becoming a detective okay so now we need to go actually inside of the gym so theoretically it should be right there yep okay there's one ticket okay so now we need to go to the herbal shop you just, uh, okay keep going keep going all right i will okay so now we need to go to the herb shop okay so oh and this is is this the gem shop so i know that the herb one is over there does this guy offer any new stones now or is it the same old okay, same old stones all right i have plenty of those but thank you anyway Will any of you give me stones? Will any of you give me, like, just give me one, please? Okay. Oh, yes, he is gonna give me... Oh, Blastoise tonight. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of money. Okay. That, a $500,000 stone, bruh. Well, I could probably get that later, but I can't afford that now, dude. Alright, anyway... The ticket should be in here. Yep, okay, found the liquor ticket. Okay, now there should be one inside of the museum. I would say the third... Okay, okay, shut up. Let me go find the last one. Okay, so where... I need to get back... Okay, I need to go this way back to the city itself. And I need to find... Probably gonna have to run around for quite a bit. I need to get back. And the last one should be on North Boulevard in. Oh, okay. Well, I should have gone to the hotel one first, but it's fine. Okay, you really. Okay. I really gotta pay for this? Fine. Okay, I don't care about the audio. Just let me go in. It should be over here. Yes, there we go. All right, last one is in the hotel. Okay. Okay, last one. Yeah. Oh, you but you really I have to leave through that side. You couldn't just let me leave through the other one. All right, but that's fine. All right. Now he's got to find the hotel. Oh, I think this is literally the hotel here. Okay, where in the hotel? It should be on the right side, right? Yes, right here. 
Perfect. All right. Now we can head back over to the Looker Bureau. Okay. And I think I'm just going to use the taxi to get back there because finding the Looker Bureau is real annoying. The five Looker tickets. Congratulations, you have completed your training. Yes, even you can become a detective. Five easy steps. From this day onward, you are a fully fledged, completely boiled detective. I'm boiled? Mm -hmm. With that accomplishment, let me issue my request once more, David. Be my crime-fighting partner. Sure, dude. Excellent. It will be my honor to serve as an official member of the Looker Bureau and as a partner to one and the only Looker. I'll send you a message on your holocaster when we have a job to do. Oh, okay. Hmm. To complete my patent and training course, the Looker Method. Yes, even you can become a type of five easy steps. In so little time with such ease, David, you are truly a masterful trainer. The big case on which I have been at work, it is certainly will crack this case together. As for what is past, old friend, be patient. Justice will be served. Enough for all. Okay, so... Okay, so apparently I need to go to some alleyway with a bunch of children. David, it is the Looker. I wanted to talk to you about something important. Can you please come to the Looker? Bro, I just left! You couldn't have just told me while I was here? Alright. Is this the Looker beer or is this another building? Oh, this is the sushi place. Okay. Nope, I need to go over to the Looker Bureau. Are you the Looker Bureau? It is. Okay. David, you're here. You got a message. My... Uh, then I only need three minutes only. It is this. We have a case to solve. Account on your help, David. Let's put our partnership to the test. My notes are on the desk. Take 30 seconds to read up on the case. Alrighty. Uh, a rip from the city mother's group. Kids in the, lim in the city seem to be spending a lot of time in the back alleys recently. What are they up to in those shadowy, suspicious places? Acquiring mothers want to know. My son is about to take the entrance exams for an elite school t for future ace trainers. Can't have him doing anything stupid and get a black mark on his academic record. He must do something to make the kids stop hanging out in those suspicious alleyways. Enough dough to last for a week. Alrighty. Alright, let's do it. In the back alleys. Alright, let me get to him. Got anything to say about it? Okay. Oh. Yes, yes. Shut up. Yes, I caught it. Okay, shut up so I can go. You got this, Dave. If you're not off to. Okay. Jesus Christ, man. Just let me do my thing. Oh, oh, I just signed up for a Pokemon battle. Okay, wait, okay, I guess I'm fighting a waitress. Alright. Fair enough, I guess. Early at level 30, dude, that's like almost mean. This is almost mean. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Oh, is it this little thing right here? I think it's here. Yup, here's the children. Huh, who are you? This is our secret base. You're not allowed in. Okay, so we gotta beat all these small children in a battle. Alright. Whatever you want. What level are you guys? Please tell me you're like at least a high level so this isn't just like a complete joke. 53. Okay. Not the worst thing on the planet. I, I wish... It was higher, so I could at least gain like a bunch of XP from it, especially since this is technically like post game. Like, this is technically after like we beat like the Elite Four and all that. Like, you're telling me the best you can give me is um, a bunch of children with level 50. Now, obviously, I can't expect the, these children to have like better Pokemon than like the Elite Train, like the Champion, but like. Yeah. Oh no! Budsley is sturdy. What in the world? Oh man, going through these children is gonna take forever, isn't it? It's gonna probably take a hot minute. Well, I'll be sitting here for a hot minute. For you, you're a really strong trainer. Indeed, I am. I guess I'll let you in. Okay, we got a lot of kids to fight, don't we? Last chance if you run away. You're gonna be sorry you ever saw me. Yeah, I'm sure. Small child. Iggly buff. You're telling me. 
This is... That's... That's the thing I'm supposed to be scared of. I want to, like, eat it. I think it looks kind of delicious. It's like gum. Cool. Cool Pokemon. Wow! <laughs> it's crying. The trainer's got some muscle in his husk. <laughs> uh, you're not too shabby. Can you bring me bring it if you got guts? This is our own private paradise. Take off and leave it to us. All right, schoolgirl Callie. Got Rapidash. That's a cool. That's a cool Pokemon you got there, bud. I like Rapidash. Partly because Gen One, -er, but yeah. Let's go ahead with a Surf. All right. Easy peasy. Surprised a child has a rapid dash, but yeah, fair enough. I feel like that's dangerous. Could like. Levani. Ah, uh, let's keep battling. I don't know why that took so long. I like, just like straight up blanked for a minute. I'm gonna use a little psychic on it. Here we go. That's also a cool Pokemon. I like that Pokemon. I don't think I have it though. Maybe I'll have to find it. Kingler. Okay. And lastly, we can use Thunder on the Kingler. Bonk. Oh, use Protect. Now, why would you do such a thing? Now I can't hit you. There we go. Chandler to 36. Quilladin to 37. Eevee to 28. I can't do it. I just can't win. Alright. Alright, we're getting the final evolution of Quilladin. What is it? Chestnut? Yeah, I think it's Chestnut. I think I uploaded a very little while ago to you guys. It was like a um, ranking tier list of starters, and I ranked Chestnut. Pretty low, surprisingly. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Cool. Yeah, not a huge fan of Chestnut. And we get our Charizard. Hey yo. Okay, we have the Charizard Mega Stone, so we could also use it as far as that's concerned. Very cool. Tired. All right, got ourselves a Charizard. Wing attack? No. Eh. Actually, let's get rid of Ember while we're at it. I don't. I don't. I don't think this Charizard needs Ember to be honest. There we go. Okay. I'm slightly scared. Is it? Okay, it's about to turn into Espeon and no, yeah, let's. Please turn into Umbreon. I think it's nighttime. I don't know though. I'll be real sad if it turns into Espeon though. Crap. Bro, I just want an Umbreon, bro. Alright, well, we're gonna have to grab another Eevee. Yeah. Guess you're sort of strong. Fine, I guess I'll let you continue. Dang it, man. All right, well, I guess you just have one more child anyway. What do I know? You, you really want to get in there, huh? Yeah, I guess you do, so I'm going to have to fight you. All right, well, after this, we'll have to grab another Eevee and get it up to... Oh, he's got a spirit to him. Where did the small child get that? That's weird. Well, either way, we'll just hit it with a Surf, and it'll probably go down. Um, yeah... I'll have to find another Eevee. Ow, that thing hurt. Alright, Spirit Tomb, you're done. You're a cool Pokemon, but... I don't know where this child got a Haunted Rock at, but... I knew this battle would end up like this. Yeah, because you've got a Spirit Tomb, you, you freak. I guess I'd lose anyway. Now it's up to Mimi to save us. Whoa, <laughs> part of part and it took a while to find you. How's the investigation going, David? Do you have a news to report? Yeah, I'm trying, bruh. Oh, did you hear that cry? I feel like it came from the deeper inside the alley. Ooh. Why? It's a Pokemon. 
but to threaten humans like that, it is apparently none too gentle. May consider this area's territory. Yep, old man, you got that right. Oh, who's there? Show yourself. Oh, nobody's special, but this, but this little sweetie right here is Mimi. That's what I named it anyway. Uh -huh. That is your Pokemon. In which case, would you mind returning it to its Pokeball for a bit? Huh? What Pokeball? Pardon? I'm not a trainer. Mimi is my friend. I have no money to buy Pokeballs, so I can't be a trainer. You get it? Anyway, Mimi and I don't need a Pokeball to be friends. Of course, I get it. Please forgive my error. My name is Looker. I work as a detective. May I introduce you to my partner, David? If you will permit me to ask Mimi's friend, I am interested in what you're all doing here. Well, we're all playing, that's all. Everybody here is a friend of mine. What are you What are you asking for? Do you want to join or something? What? No, don't do it. This is our secret base. Kids only. No grown-ups allowed. I'll put a sock in it. Pl play nice, both of you. How would you like to get left out just because you're old and stuff? You seem to have a good group of friends playing together here, but why do you pick a dark alley like this one to play in? The city is filled with plazas and open spaces and sunny corners. Flowers can't bloom without sunshine, and neither can young folks, you know? Oh, Mimi and I have always lived in alleys, so I don't know much about sunshine. You live in an alley, you and Mimi, and your family, they, they're they gone, I'm alone. Yeah, but Mimi's sort of my family, we stick together. Indeed, I look her, I've struck upon an idea, a genius idea, and here it is. Friend of Mimi, I invite you to stay at my office, the Looker Bureau. You may work as my assistant, and in exchange you may live in the office. I myself live elsewhere in a hotel, so you'll have it all to yourself after hours. It is not to imply that anything's wrong with the free lifestyle in the alleys, but to have a home to shelter from the cold and the rain, there is joy in having to work each day and your efforts seen and appreciated. This idea is genius, even for me. And Mimi, are, are you on board too? It wouldn't be the same without you. What, what did, where did Mimi run off? Mimi gets scared pretty easy, afraid of humans, I guess, especially grown-ups. Hey, Mr. Look at guy, for a minute there, I was kind of happy that you invited me to stay with you. You're pretty cool, but I can't. Mimi likes it better here. I can't leave Mimi behind. We stick together. Hold on. Mimi may grow to like it in time, but even if not, I'm going to try a new angle. At a time like this, it helps to have a partner you can count on. Partner? Indeed, your assignment is to befriend Mimi. You can do it. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay, so now we have to go find... We have to go find it. Look, I received a tip from the children. I judge, um, doesn't like being petted. Okay, so we gotta find it in the north part. So right now we're on south. We need to get over to the north. Is it this one? Is it, I think it's in this one. It should be. Hey, there's Mimi. <clears throat> What are you going to do? I'm going to go ahead and dance. <clears throat> okay. Seems to like it. Noise. Well done. Mimi seems to have taken a shine to you. How do you get Mimi to like you so fast? Thank you, David. You have proven your worth as a partner. Well, friend of Mimi, problem solved. I'll say it. It's time for you to graduate from life on the streets and join the Looker Bureau as my assistant. First, there's... <laughs> Detective is a ho okay. Whatever, dude. Shut up. Let's go back to your office. Wow, this is the Looker Bureau. It's sure warmer than the alley. It's gonna be great, huh, Mimi? Please make yourself comfortable. From today on, you will work here as my assistant, and you may live here as long as you choose. I seem to have forgotten my manners. Pardon me for not asking your name. Where do you prefer to go by? Shall we stick with we stick with friend of Mimi? Who? I'm just Emma. Nice to meet you. Emma, it is indeed a pretty name. The case of the kids in the alleys is now closed. With Emma staying here instead, kids will stop playing in the alleys, their second home. David, I will send you a message in a holocaust the next time we get a case. I look forward to it, indeed. Emma and Mimi. I was absolutely right to invite them to stay here. Truly genius, no doubt. What I don't know is if enough work will appear to keep food on our table. I guess I'll roll up my sleeves and concentrate on my mission. This is what it means to be a hard-boiled detective. Seems like a really weird post-game. I don't particularly understand it, but um, fair enough, I guess. 
All right, we should get a hollow hollow clip though. Starting our next mission. I want to talk to you about something important. Come to the Looker Bureau. Once again, you couldn't have told me while I was there, bud. But it's all right. I get it. Not everyone's a sh not everyone's that sharp. Here, David. This is good. I need. Okay. Ever since starting living here at the office, I've detected some signs of stress in her. So this caused me to worry. What do you think, David? Could it be? Yeah. And she, so has she confided in you, or did she use some of the brilliant detective skills you learned from my class? You're an approachable person, David, which encourages others to open up to you. You know, when I first invited Emma to live here, my intention was to become a guardian to her. I promised to do everything for her as a parent would. I do hope my feelings of responsibility are not burdening her. Chapter 3 Whoa! I can't read that. Oh, what do we have here? One of our fair city's famous tourists. From your manner of speaking, madam, I deduce that you have traveled far indeed. I am Looker. What may I do for you? Okay, I can't read that. My dear lady, I'm terribly sorry, but could you speak a bit less quickly? Um, from what I can gather, it seems that this lady has been given sore offense. And do you know what that would be, David, my friend? Well, thanks to my gift for languages, I've traveled all over the world, you know. It seems she is highly offended that she has come as a guest and not yet been offered tea. <laughs> Jeez, my friend, I must make haste to obtain the requisite tea. David, please keep our guest company until I learn from my vital mission. Do we not have police in the city? David, welcome back. Is Mr. Lookout... Well, who's this old lady? Oh. Oh, she speaks it. Okay. Okay, I... If we keep going like this, then David is going to be totally lost, and I don't feel like opening up the trash talk with this old lady again. Hey, Mimi, how about it? Do you think you could help us with your power? Oh, cool. Can't... Is this Mimi's mystical power? Someone you can hear the strange woman thoughts in your head. It seems she feels sorry for saying rude things about Looker and Emma. And the real reason she is so troubled is that her precious Pokemon were stolen. Is this... Uh, okay. It seems she's still worried about the stolen Pokemon. Okay. She's walking through the state train station when it happened. The man sneaked up behind her and stole her bag. The woman did her best to chase him, but he got away. Seems that Emma has some idea of who the man might might have been. I return my apologies for the delay. I've obtained the finest quality tea since our guest obviously has exquisite taste. Oh, Emma and Mimi are back as well. Yes, excellent timing all around. Emma, have you introduced yourself to a visitor from the land far away? Okay. Oh, are you... I wonder if... Okay. So her Pokemon were stolen. I guess the thieves are still in the Lemoe station. Okay. Okay, whatever, man. Let's go to the station, huh? No, man, this is not on. If we see someone in trouble, give help. If you see Pokemon in trust, you help. This is the policy of the Looker Bureau, and it does not change. No matter what this person may have said about me, it does not change what we do. Now wait here, please. I must go to the station. Okay. He tries to stand up to the gang without a Pokemon on his side. Doesn't have a chance. Oh, please go help him. Here's partner, aren't you? Don't let him go alone. Okay. Okay. Cool. So apparently his Pokemon died or something on the job. Okay. Well, we need to go. No, not in there. Not into the sushi place. Some dollars. Okay, where are the where are these ruffians that we're looking for? Yes, okay, I just lost 50 50. Hey, 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 what you doing here, old man? You wandering here by mistake or what? Because you'd have to be off your trolley to come alone picking a fight with us. Indeed, hold that thought. I'm not here to pick a fight. Instead, I'm in a simple request return the tourist stolen Pokemon. You're joking, right? If we give them back a pretty please and thank you, why do we bother stealing something? Looky, old man. That look, uh, we, uh, I can't read what you're saying. Ever since Emma went to live at yours, she ain't ever come around to hang out with us. What do you mean? 
You, you hurt me. It's, why do we nab these lame Pokemon? If we're, okay, bro, shut up and just fight, because I can't understand what you're saying. Can I? Okay. Fine, we'll give your shot to... Um, bro, let me just fight. It's, it's no Pokemon. I can do nothing to restore the small Pokemon to the tourists. Oh, you mouth. Who are you? You're with this old man. You can take his place and hand over the Pokemon. How do you like your chances? Sure, dude. Just shut up and fight me. Okay. Dude, just... Please. A lot... A lot of people in this game just need to stop talking and just... Just fight. Alright, man the buzz. I can definitely... Thunder that. Oh, and I totally forgot that it came in with low health. I don't think I'll need much health, though. Starmie's pretty good. I don't think I'll need it. Oh, and I forgot to get other Pokemon. Oh, that sucks. Dang it. Yeah, I forgot to grab new Pokemon to level them up. It's alright. What do you think you're doing to my darling Pokemon? I wonder if I... Should I just get out of here? You know what? Let me go grab new Pokemon. Let's go ahead and give the Razor Claw over to Sneasel. I grabbed a couple new Pokemon. Okay, everybody. So, I went ahead and actually hatched an Eevee. Gave it the Soothe Bell. Grabbed a whole bunch of new Pokemon. Let's go ahead and continue here. Guess it's down to me to teach you what, what's what. Easy peasy. All right. Challenged by gang member Iris. What do you got? A Pangoro. That's pretty cool. Not really cool enough though. I think I, I think I got a sparkling gleam that I can hit you with. Or a dazzling gleam, not sparkling gleam. My bad, my bad. Alright, I'm both want. Let's go ahead and surf it up. Drop to 28. This is weak for true. Very, very weak. Okay, last guy. We need Emma here with us. Got it. No, I don't got it. Okay, Nyx. What you got for me, bud? Shreddy gone. I got something for that. Bonk. Scroll up to 29. I'm more 23. Eevee to 13. Okay. And a crocodile. Hit it with one more surf. Bonk. There we go. Scrub the 30. Man, forget this nonsense. What a pain right then. I'll just have your... Stop it, all of you. Stop it, I mean it. And return those stolen Pokemon. Well, if it don't... Well, if that don't take the biscuit, this is down to you, Emma. You just couldn't have bothered us no more. What's the point of us if you don't show up? You're the boss of this game. Don't you think we missed you? All going off with the bad news and never thought to your old mates? Thanks for nothing. I'll put a sock in it. I said up front, don't count me in. You went ahead and called the boss without even asking what I wanted. I decided for myself, and I'll back off before I really lose it. We got it, boss. We got it. You don't have to be the boss. We've just been missing you since you stopped coming around. Here, we'll give back the Pokeballs. Forgive us, all right? All right, well, it's said and I'll give, uh, you need to say sorry to the lady you stole from to the Mr. Looker, too. I'm sorry for nicking the Pokemon. You got me bangs to rest. Forgive me? This Pokemon shall be safely restored. Let's call it water under the bridge and case closed. Cheers, Emma. Let's head back to the Looker Bureau. Oh, I forgot some. Wait, 30 seconds. Hey, folks. If you wish your... You can be friends with Emma, is that correct? 
what people I cannot turn away like Bria, especially people who do cruel and thoughtless, for example, stealing the uh, however I believe has been I know people in Pokemon are both capable of evolving, and so if you give your word of honor not to ever lift a hand in cruelty again their main then you may come by to the Looker Bureau anytime to visit Emma as her friends. Let us now return back to whatever. I'm very sorry about what happened earlier. When that woman assault I just if you learned something from it, that's all I need to hear, Emma. That is not what concerns me now. Imagine how I felt to discover that you were the boss of the gang. Well, it's just Leah. I wasn't in the gang for real. I had a big fight with them one time, and after I took them down, they figured I was their boss. It was all their idea, not mine. She may look like a cute kid, but Emma's crazy strong. She really is, looker, sir. Mr. David. Well, it's the lad from the gang. You already visit already? Good. Um, you can drop that, sir. Business. Call me looker. Um, we're gonna evolve. Oh, uh, so let us come around and s yeah, sure, dude. That's excellent. Decide to change your course life is more than an evolution. It's a mega evolution. There's no substitute for honest work if you make a difference in this world. Yeah, that's all right then. See you later, Emma. Hey, Mr. Looker, what is it, Emma? You said there is no substitute for honest work if you can make a difference in this world, but I don't do any work at all. If you ask me to be your assistant, but I've never done any work the whole time I've been staying here. All I've done is learn things from you. Is that really enough? Is it really okay for me to be here? These are good questions, Emma. You have been learning nonstop since you came here. Have you not? Learning is very important at any age, and especially for you now. Come to pour your heart into your studies. You don't need to worry. We're always here. Okay. Uh, I mean, you want to make it up uh, straight. Uh, dude, so much talking, bro. Oh, if they only had this much talking during the story part of the game. Like, literally, the entirety of the story of the game was boiled down to, like, five minutes of talking. And all of a sudden, we're at the post-game with this whatever, whatever we're doing now with this looker guy. And all of a sudden, now they want to talk for 40 minutes. One would expect that a hard-boiled detective is, uh, in the art. Okay, so he's rich. Cool. Okay, whatever. Let the girl study, bro. Why do you gotta keep talking all this nonsense? Hey, Mimi. Mr. Looker said we didn't need to worry about anything you know but i just feel like we can't keep depending on this forever he lets us stay here for free and pays for all the food we eat so i think we need to do something thanks for looking i can read now right i've seen signs around town for part-time work signs say it's easy work and anyone can learn it maybe you and i can then i'm going over there right now to ask him for a job what do you think mimi really okay okay so now Wait, actually, I do need to go that way. 